This video will discuss term symbols for homonuclear diatomic molecules. So for a homonuclear diatomic, we have two nuclei. They both have the same charge, and we have this internuclear z-axis connecting the two of them. All of the molecular orbitals are going to be eigenfunctions of the LZ operator, giving us uh, some eigenvalue of LZ. I need to correct much better. So LZ acting on our uh, molecular orbitals gives H bar times M times our molecular orbital back. So what we have is that M sub L for these individual atomic orbitals, if I label this M sub L, M sub L equals plus or minus L. So L is determined by what the absolute value of M is for our given orbital. So sigma orbitals, L equals zero pi orbitals L equals 1, delta orbitals pi equals uh, L equals 2, etc. So what we're going to introduce uh, for diatomic molecules, which is going to make our term symbols slightly different than for atoms, is instead of having the value of, sorry, instead of having the value of L for our term symbol, we're going to have the value of lambda. So just like the transition from SPD, to sigma pi delta for the lowercase values of L. For lambda, it having values of 0, 1, and 2 is going to correspond to states which are sigma, pi, and delta, the capital Greek letters. So our diatomic term symbol is going to look like 2s plus 1 lambda, whereas our atomic term symbols look like 2s plus 1 L sub j. All right, so this is going to be a pretty similar procedure to what we did for atomic term symbols with one little caveat. So I'll discuss that caveat as we do some examples. All right, for H2, we have one sigma G2 for our configuration. So this isn't really an interesting case because our subshell is completely filled, but let's go through the motions. We have two ways. How many ways do we have of arranging two electrons and two spin orbitals in this sigma G level? And 2 choose 2 is going to be 2 factorial over 2 factorial times 2 minus 2 factorial, which is going to be 1. So m sub l for the sigma orbital is going to be 0. So the values of m sub s and m sub lambda as analogs to our examples for atomic term symbols from previous videos, both are going to be 0. For m subs capital S, you do a you do increasing it by one half for every spin up electron, decreasing it by one half for every spin down electron. For m sub lambda, that's going to depend on the sum of m sub l for the orbitals. For sigma, that value is just going to be zero because m sub l is plus or minus l. For sigma, that's zero. So that just gives us one possible determinant with those two values. In our table there, the only possible term symbol we can have for max m sub s equals 0 is a singlet, and max m sub l equals 0 is sigma. So this is a singlet sigma for the ground state H2 molecule, as it, and that's consistent with our table here. All right, for H2 plus, we have 1 sigma g1. How many ways are there to arrange two electrons in, sorry, one electron in two spin orbitals? That's 2 choose 1. There are two spin up and spin down are the only possibilities. m sub s equals plus or minus one half. m sub lambda equals zero for each of them. So the values of m sub s indicate that the only value of s we can have is one half or two s plus one gives us a doublet. And the maximum value of m sub lambda is zero, so this has to be a sigma. We can't go any higher or lower than a doublet. We can't do anything other than a sigma. So what we have there is a doublet sigma for an H2 plus molecule. All right, so that's the case where it's pretty much the same procedure as it would be for atoms. Now, whenever we have uh, pi orbitals, that's where we have the difference. The values of m sub lambda that we need to take care of in our tables here, instead of being from plus L to minus L, it's only plus or minus L, skipping the values in the middle. So that is embodied here in our O2 minus, which our only partially filled subshell is one pi g star three. 
How many different ways are there to arrange three electrons in four spin orbitals? There are four. Four choose three. We'll build those four determinants here, the different ways we can arrange three electrons in four spin orbitals. So m sub s, we get plus and minus one half for each case, one half minus one half plus one half, one half minus one half minus one half, etc. m sub lambda, for for pi orbitals, m sub l is going to be plus one or minus one. Notice there is no zero; it's only plus or minus the value of l. So m sub lambda is one plus one minus one, one plus one minus one, one minus one minus one, one minus one minus one. So this gives us the following table of values of m sub s and m sub l. The maximum m sub s we have is one half, which corresponds to the only possibility being a doublet. The maximum value of m sub lambda equals 1, so we could have a pi state or a sigma state. So we'll arrange these in descending order of doublet pi, doublet sigma. For a doublet pi, we need m sub s equals plus or minus 1 half for the doublet. We need m sub lambda equals plus or minus 1 for the pi. So that's four total possibilities. We notice that all four of those possibilities are located here inside this table. So that is a doublet pi, taking care of those four uh, determinants. Once we subtract that out, there's nothing left, so there's no additional doublet pi, there's no doublet sigma. The only term symbol we have for O2 minus is doublet pi. So that's really the gist of the difference between the case for atoms and the case for molecules. If you want a more detailed video, look at my other videos on atomic term symbols. There's three examples here, but this is kind of just going through um, going through this very quickly for the purposes of showing the differences relative to atoms. All right, our last case, uh, boron 2, the only unfilled or the only partially filled subshell is 1 pi u2. How many different ways are there to arrange four, uh, two electrons in four spin orbitals? There are six, four choose two equals six. Those six determinants are listed here. For a pi orbital, again, m sub l equals plus or minus 1. And we have m sub s and m sub lambda, plus 1 half for every up spin, minus 1 half for every down, uh, plus 1 for being here, plus, minus 1 for being there, those values of m sub s and m sub lambda. Maximum m sub s is 1, meaning we can have s equals 1 or 0, either a singlet or a triplet. Max m sub lambda equals 2 meaning our lambda can equal de uh, delta, pi, or sigma. So our table that we get when we sum up how many determinants of each value of m sub s and m sub lambda do we get, we get these values here. So if we look, if we arrange them in descending order from triplet to singlet, from delta to sigma, to check for a triplet delta, is there an m sub lambda equals two, m sub s equals one, there is not, there's no triplet delta. Is there m sub lambda equals 2 m sub l, sorry, m sub lambda equals 2 m sub s equals 0 for a singlet delta? There is. A singlet delta needs m sub lambda equals plus or minus 2, and it needs m sub s equals 0. So those are these two determinants here for a, a singlet delta. Check, we have one of those. Once we subtracted out those two, there's no singlet delta left. Moving on to, to triplet pi. Triplet pi needs m sub s equals plus one, zero, and minus one. Pi needs it to be uh, m sub lambda equals plus or minus one. All right, so that would be six total determinants. Uh, we do not see a case where we see uh, plus one, plus one there, so no triplet pi. For singlet pi, do we see a case where we have m sub s equals plus 1, m sub lambda equals, sorry, m sub s equals 0, m sub lambda equals plus 1? We do not, no, no singlet pi. Triplet sigma, do we see a case where m sub s equals plus 1 and m sub lambda equals 0? We do. Do we see for m sub lambda equals 0, plus 1, 0 and minus 1? We do. There is indeed a triplet sigma for those three determinants. 
subtract that out, the only thing we're left with is a single determinant of m sub s equals zero, m sub lambda equals zero, which corresponds to a singlet sigma. So for our B2, we get singlet delta, triplet sigma, and singlet sigma. So that's the uh, very quick basics of term symbols for diatomic homonuclear molecules. We have instead of L, lambda, and the, the uh, term symbols for S work the same way. Multiplicity is the same, but our values of lambda give our capital Greek letters instead of capital alphabetic letters, and the values of M sub L are plus and minus L instead of going from plus L all the way to minus L.